Welcome back to Chemistry Clubhouse. Today we're going to be doing a couple problems. First, we're going to look at standardizing a solution. So taking a what we think is a known solution and determine the exact molarity of that solution. And then some basic calculations using titrations. So let's get started. So let's start talking about standardization and titration. All right. Um, what we have up in the right is what is called a carboy. All right, and this is where we've put our what we think is a 0 0.1 molar NaOH solution. So we made a bunch of different solutions. Everyone in class made a bunch of solutions. So we think it's 0 0.1 molar. But the problem is if person one, so number one, they made a 0 0.099, and person number two made a 0. 110 and person number three made a 0 0.105. Okay, if you notice, there, th those kind of get close to 0 0.1, but we don't know what they are. Okay, so what we need to do is all those went in here, and what we need to do is we need to figure out how to standardize it. So we're going to do that through titration. Okay, so this carboy has, so if we have some amount of liquid in there, we know that that liquid is that sodium hydroxide. So we're gonna take a quantity of that, put that in a beaker, and then we are going to put it in here. Okay, so what we think is in this burette, all right, so again, this, being, this guy being a burette, um, we think that there's actually, it's 0.1 molar, but we don't know. Okay, so we're assuming it's close to 0.1 molar, but we have no idea what it is. So what we use is a solid acid. Okay, and what we put in here is going to be called KHP. KHP is known as potassium hydrogen phthalate. Now this guy obviously is just an acronym, but the actual compound is c 8 h 5 KO4. Okay, so this thing weighs 204.2 grams per mole. So this is a big compound. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put some quantity in there and we're going to stir it around. So if you notice, there's liquid in here. So there's liquid up to here. And then we're just going to put solid in there and then let it dissolve. Okay, and then we're going to titrate it. Okay, just a reminder, we put that indicator in. So we put that indicator Indicate it goes in there so that we get that change. All right, so once that KHP is put in there, we can figure out exactly how many moles are floating around, which is a, a relatively simple math problem. So let's say, for instance, we have 0 0.2 grams of KHP in here. All right, so we need to know how many moles that is. So pretty easy math for us. We have 0 0.2 grams of KHP times... Our molar mass is 204.2 grams of KHP for every one mole of KHP. So that comes out to be 0 0.00098 moles of KHP. All right, so what we have floating around in there is 0 0.00098 moles of KHP. And what we're going to do is we're going to see how much of that NaOH is going to be needed to neutralize that KHP. So if we start up here and we move down to here, we can get that change in volume. So we can get the change in volume of NaOH, and now we can figure out how much volume was needed to neutralize that KHP. The one key thing that we don't have here is our balanced equation. So we got to look at what is that balanced equation for KHP and sodium hydroxide. So what it is, is that C8H5KO4 plus NaOH, and that's going to make HOH, which is what we'd expect. One of these H's comes off and combines with the OH. And then what's left over is the Na, I'm running out of room, C8H4KO4. 
And if you look at it, it's all balanced. So it's one to one. So that's the key. Okay, we know that we have a one to one ratio. Okay, so up here we've got this much KHP and we know that it's a one to one ratio. So if this is 0 0.00098 moles, then it's gonna require 0 0.00098 moles of this, of the NaOH, to neutralize it because it's a one-to-one -one ratio. Well, if I know that it's that many moles is needed of KOH, or sorry, of the NaOH, and that is how much is needed to neutralize the KHP, then we can take this volume that's sitting right up here and the moles that we have here, and we can set up a very simple equation. So let's say our change in volume is equal to, let's say, 15 milliliters. All right. Oops, I lied. Let's say it's 10 milliliters. Let's make this actually accurate. So let's say it's 10 milliliters. If that's the case, then what we have is 0 0.0098 moles. So if we do M equals N over V, we have M is equal to the number of moles, 0 0.00098, and we divide it by 10 milliliters, which is 0 0.01 liters. We divide that, and guess what we get? 0 0.0979. which in this case is really close to that expected 0.1 molar NaOH. So this would be called standardizing it. So I'd run it a couple times to see if we can figure out if it's accurate. All right, so let's try a problem. Let's try a separate problem of this. So it takes 34, oops, 34.2 milliliters of NaOH to neutralize 0 0.689 grams of KHP. What is the molarity of the NaOH solution. All right, so if someone ran this experiment and they put 0.689 grams of KHP in a solution, so again, I've got this solution. I've got 0 0.689 grams of KHP dissolved in some volume, so again, it's it's in, oops, that's really big. It's in here, all right? And then we put some, we titrate it, and that titration goes from, let's say, 0, 0.0 milliliters down to 30, oops, 34.2 milliliters, all right? So that change would be 34.2 milliliters of NaOH. So that's what we would have done in the titration, all right? The solution would have turned pink. We would have gotten everything to work exactly how we wanted, okay? So what we have is, again, the NaOH plus KHP yields basically HOH plus NaKP. I mean, that if we just shortcut it. All right, so we have 0 0.689 grams of this, and it took 34.2 milliliters of this. Okay, well, we know that this guy right here, we can convert to moles, just like we did in the last problem. So we've got 0 0.689 grams of KHP times, we have 204.2 grams of KHP for every one mole of KHP. And we know, instead of just looking at it, we've got to prove it. So according to the balanced equation, for every one mole of KHP, we have one mole of NaOH. 
And that now tells us how many moles we have. So we have 0.689 divided by 204.2, which gives us 0 0.003374 moles of NaOH. All right. Well, I know it took 34.2 milliliters of NaOH to neutralize it. And in that 34.2 milliliters, I have 0 0.003374 moles. So our molarity of the NaOH is therefore 0 0.003374 oops, moles of NaOH divided by 0 0.0342 liters. And that ends up being 0 0.0986. All right, and that would be what we would assume is the molarity of our NaOH solution. So again, close to that 0.1 if we if we were standardizing what we would assume is a 0.1 molar solution. Okay, so this is just a simple standardization trying to figure out, again, we want to know what that NaOH solution is. This we don't know. We assume it was a 0.1. Well, it ended up being 0 0.0986. Well, we're in chemistry, so we want specifics. We want exact all right, we, wanna, we don't want to just round it up and say, oh, it's 0.1. Well, let's, we, got the, we got the tools. Let's make it work. So it's 0 0.0986. Let's use what we've got. All right, so that is a basic, our, a basic standardization. All right, now we can now use that number. So I'm going to use this specific one. Okay, I'm going to use the 0 0.0986. Okay, so if we have a titration... And we're starting off at 0, 0.0 milliliters, and it goes, let's say, down to 35.8 milliliters. And we know that change, that change in volume, equals 35.8 milliliters of NaOH. And because we standardized it, we know it's 0, 0.0986 molar. Okay? And then if we have a solution down here, let's say we're trying to titrate some acid. And that acid, we measured it, we put it in a graduated cylinder, so we put it in this graduated cylinder, all right, and we measured out exactly 20 milliliters. And we transferred that acid, 20 milliliters of, let's say it's HNO3, all right? We took that acid and we put it in here. We then added our indicator. And then we pipe or we use the burette and we dropped in 35.8 milliliters. And then that solution ends up being a nice pink color. All right. So then we get this nice pink color and we have what is considered neutralized. So if we go and look at our balanced equation, what we've got is NaOH plus HNO3 yields, again, doing our balanced equation, Na goes with Na, NO3, and H goes with OH. And just looking across the board, everything's balanced, everything's written correctly, so therefore we know this is a 1 to 1 to 1 to 1 ratio. And we care about those two because we've got the acid as a 1 and the base as a 1. Okay, so now all we have to do is look at what we have. We've got 0 0.0358 liters of this. So that's our volume. We've got our molarity is 0 0.0986 molar. The HNO3, we know its volume is 20. Oops, we're going to take it to 0 0.02 liters. And we're trying to figure out the molarity. All right, now I know a lot of people want to do M1V1, M1V1. No, you don't need to do M1V1. That's a dilution equation. This is a chemical reaction. All right, so we're going to use this information right here. We're going to take that base information, and we're going to turn it into a unit that we need, and that's moles. So we got M equals N over V. So we've got 0 0.0986 molar is equal to N over 0 0.0358 liters. Okay, so we're just going to cross multiply those. 
So we're going to times that. We're going to go 0 0.0986, and we're going to multiply it by 0 0.0358. All right, so that N is going to be equal to 0 0.00353 moles of NaOH. All right, so up here in this quantity that we just uh, we sent down, that had 0 0.00. 353 three moles of NaOH, all right? Well, down here, we've got 20 milliliters of HNO3. Well, how many moles of HNO3 do we have in there? Well, we look at the balanced equation, and we say for every one mole of NaOH, there is one mole of HNO3, which means we have the exact same number of HNO3 molecules, okay? But our goal is, what's the molarity of the unknown acid? Okay, so that acid, we know there's 20 milliliters of it, and we know in that 20 milliliters, we have 0 0.00353. So now it's again a simple problem. M equals N over V. Well, our moles, we just calculated that. 0 0.00353 moles over 0 0.02 liters. So we take that 0 0.0353, divide that by, oops, 0 0.00353, divide that by 0 0.02, and we get a 0 0.176 molar HNO3. So what that says to us is to neutralize 20 milliliters of a 0.176 molar HNO3, it required 35.8 milliliters of a 0 0.0986 molar solution of NaOH. All right, let's try another one. All right, so let's use that 0 0.0986. So again, we've got our tight, oops, we've got our burette. All right, let's titrate, let's make it, let's go 75 milliliters of an H2SO4 solution. So we have 75 milliliters in there. We're gonna put in our indicator. All right, let's say up here, this starts off at, let's go 3.55 milliliters. All right, and we are going to titrate this with the 0 0.00986 molar NaOH. Okay, so that's what's in there. And we're gonna titrate it, and it's gonna titrate all the way down to, let's go 42.50 milliliters. Okay, so if you wanna try this one, pause it. Let's see if you can determine what the molarity of H2SO4 is in this problem. All right, so hopefully you tried it and you got an answer. So let's walk through it, okay? So first thing we need to do is write that equation. We've got H2SO4 plus NaOH yields... NaSO4, but again, we gotta look at those charges. This is a plus one, this is a minus two. So that's a two plus HOH. All right, so if I get rid of those, all right, those guys are gone. All right, so we've got two NAs on the right, one NA on the left. So I'm gonna put a two here, and I'm gonna put a two there. So if you notice, I've got a one to two ratio. That changes everything. Okay, that makes it a much more challenging problem. Because a lot of people forget that because this is a one to two ratio, people are like, hey, I can just do M1V1 equals M2V2, and then they get it wrong. All right, if you forget about that one to two ratio, things go wrong. So let's look at what we've got. H2SO4, we've got 0 0.075 liters. That's our volume. The molarity of the NaOH is 0 0.0986 molar. Our volume is going to be our final, which our final is right here, 
and our initial is up here, which is 3.55. So it's going to be final minus initial. So it's 42.50 minus 3.55 milliliters. And that gives us 42.5 minus 3.55, 38.9. Point nine five milliliters of the NaOH. Again, if we look here, this information right here gives us our molarity and our volume of the NaOH, which tells us exactly how many moles we have. So again, we've got our M equals N over V. We've got 0 0.0986 is equal to N over 0 0.03895 liters, which means our N is going to be equal to 0 0.03895 times 0 0.0986, and that is equal to 0 0.00384 moles of NaOH. Now here's where that one to two ratio becomes important. We've got, for every two moles of NaOH, there is one mole of H2SO4. So this is going to give us 0 0.00192 moles of H2SO4. All right, so this is very important to use that 1 to 2 ratio. Otherwise, we end up just getting that 0 0.00384 because we assume it's a 1 to 1. But this isn't. So this 1 to 2 ratio cuts the moles of NaOH in half. So now we have 0 0.00192. All right, well, we're not done. It asks for the molarity. So our molarity is equal to N over V again which is 0 0.00192 divided by 0 0.075. And where did I get that 75 from? Well, over here, I've got my liters of H2O, H2SO4. There's my moles of H2SO4, which I need to label. So therefore, my molarity is 0 0.0256. And that would be my final answer. I hope this was helpful. Again, titrations work the same way. I can go, these are these are the same problems over and over. You're using a lot of M equals N over V, using mole ratios, and this is helping you answer these questions. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.